how to create a grid overlay in Photoshop 221. Now I've got design here already created. It's a smart object with my grid in, matching what was the grid that I was using in Photoshop. So I'm just going to remove this now. So as soon as I do that, view and show grid. So you can see my grid. There's my grid. Now, of course, that was white lines. I could have changed the color to anything. So it's just white or light gray. So view and show grid. That's the key thing. So you can see it. But that's not saved with Photoshop. So you're not, you can't say, like, save that with my document. Be really nice if you could, but you can't. So what you can also do, view, snap, and snap to, I think they're always useful, guides, and you've got show smart guides as well. That's useful. I assume you've got smart guides on. Most, I'm certain smart guides by default are on. They're super useful. So Photoshop and preferences, and you've got here an option for grid. So grid, now I've got it 360. The document I've got here is 1,800. So 360 matches nicely across and down as well. And uh, you can set the color. So I've got light gray. So with that, what I can do, I can go to the line tool. Now the line tool slightly changed now, because at one time it was, uh, go down here, pixels. You could do, use pixels. Now you can't. So I'm using shape. Now you could also use rectangles with this. This is another way, but it's very hard and fiddly if you want to set the, the size of the, the grid using rectangles. You can do it, but it takes a lot more time, I think. And what you can do, you can set, obviously, the fill. i just set that to, it's not unnecessary. I'm going to set it to three, because I've gone with doing trial run through. I always go with one. I think maybe this grid is actually a bit greater than one. One or four, maybe. I don't know. So now I've got that. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to draw lines, just down and across. So go up here. And you can see the smart guide's really helpful. And it snaps again down the bottom. You've got smart guide there. And then you've got another line there. Go down. And again, you've got smart guides a bit. And they just highlight. So you can just you can see that sort of pink line appears. And there's that. Now you could try and use alter option to duplicate these lines. I always find it quite fiddly to do. It can be done, but it's fiddly. And it's just snap, the snap to feature just makes it so easy anyway. And of course, you can always check. And it's quite easy to go too far. But it, you should be able to get it snapped to. And you can always check. It's always best to go and check up before you finalize anything. Because as soon as you look at finalize something, you suddenly find it's wrong. And that I often do anyway. I would look at it, oh no, I made a spelling mistake or something. Or the line is slightly longer or something. You think, why didn't I spot that? And again, or I've missed a line out, I do that often. So again, again, you see the smart guides help there, and it snaps again, smart guide, go across, and it clicks on there, and go across, and again, snaps there, and you can see it just, and sometimes, of course, with this document, maybe it would be best to actually use the smart guides uh, in a different color, maybe green or something, because it's actually makes it, but there's a smart guide there, just but it does sort of the lines appear as it's done the line. And you go across there. And theoretically, I've done all those lines completely correct. So if I actually select them all, if I select any of them, then I could check to see that, yeah, 1800, they should all be that if I've done it right. Now, thing is, you can't select that and use that as a vector design. So you've got it as a shape, you've got the shape, but unfortunately, if you try and use any of these options like layer and their layer, combine shapes, you can unite them. You try and merge them or use them as a, um, a custom shape, it won't work. So it's, it's not a custom shape. To create a custom shape, you're going to have to use a similar approach, but with rectangles. Now, rectangles, I find quite fiddly to do at very small size. If you're doing three pixels, four pixel rectangles, it's a hassle because Photoshop seems to not, it seems to make it very tricky to do, I find. I, I suppose you could zoom in and zoom out and fine tune it, and you could use the property settings to fine tune it. It's possible, achievable. 
but it's a lot more fiddly, I think. But you can still use this as a, as a standard grid and you can save it with your document, of course, what you can do. But I always find it really nice to do is layer and smart objects. Because if you made a mistake, and I quite often do, or want to change the stroke size to four pixels or something, you can change it. But convert to smart object. So it's a smart object. Now, as a smart object, it means that you can, uh, of course, add effects to it. And now, and also change the colour, because I've already it's black. Now, if I suddenly decide I want it to be white, what I can do, I can go to layer, and you see there, I can double click on that, and I can go in there, and I can say, you know what, select all of them, go up to the line tool, and instead of black there, I can go to white. That obviously makes it a bit hard to see, but maybe uh, yellow, or that yellow. Or blue you can just change the color and then of course you can close that save and then come out and you've now got blue lines now I'm just going to remove the grid because obviously it's slightly confusing the issue because I've got show grid still on so I turn the show grid on, and there's your lines and of course like I say you can change the color you can also of course as a smart object what you can do you can go to over to filters or maybe go to layer layer style and maybe add drop shadow so you can add a nice shadow to your grid just creates a nice bit of depth maybe because it's now three pixels you can maybe add a little bit of a bevel there <laughs> very very thin but there is a little bit of a raised there or you can go to of course ply various warping transforms etc which all can be removed etc that's the great thing about smart objects you can see smart objects over here in the layers so also image adjustments and of course, since it's blue, means you can go and apply various adjustments, use color lookup or channel mixer, photo filter, those sort of things. And also go to filters or plugins, I guess, but nothing in there of mine. And you can use maybe blur. So if you want, you can say blur and you can blur your grid. You might want to do that. I don't know. But it creates a nice grid. And of course, what you can also do, it's uh, just a standard smart object layer. You can always just if you select it, it lets you select it, you can duplicate that design. So you can create additional grids that way. And you can rotate them as well, like that. So you can just create all kinds of things. And okay, it's not a vector object, but it's still, because it's a smart object, it's that in-between state that you can still use. And of course, what you can do, you can export it to your libraries and save it, store it for future use, or maybe, save it uh, over to Illustrator. Of course, Illustrator has got a grid tool, which makes it so much easier. It'd be lovely if Photoshop had a grid tool as well, and then of course this would be defunct. So anyway, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, Finity Photo, Designer, Publisher, Critter, Rebel, Painter, PaintShop Pro, that I haven't done one recently for a while, and many, many others. So please check out the channel all the time. Always adding, like every once in a while, every couple of days, actually. Also, any comments, please let me know. So maybe if you've got a better approach to this, please let me know. Or if there's a problem, a query, again, let me know in the comments and I will try and do try and do a video again because I actually did this video again because I've done it already, but it's obviously people said, no, this doesn't seem to be. So I thought, well, better go through it and do slightly different video and show how to do it this time so a dislike or like always appreciated thank you much